Hi, I'm Hannah Björklund at Ridgeview Instruments. I would like to share my thoughts on the affinity, on rate and off rate of an interaction, and how these may be interpreted on different situations. Imagine two molecules, a target that's anchored to a surface and a ligand kept in a solution. These may interact with each other, forming a complex. The interaction is reversible, meaning that the complex may fall apart, causing the ligand and the target to be free once again. The strength of the interaction between the ligand and the target is referred to as the affinity. At equilibrium, the affinity describes the amount of formed complexes relative to the concentration of free ligand and target. This can be represented by a sigmoidal shaped curve, illustrating the amount of bound targets at different ligand concentrations. At a ligand concentration equal to the affinity, half of the targets will have a ligand bound at equilibrium. With a tenth of the KD, only 9% of the targets are in a complex, but with 10 times the KD, the number is 91%. This means that it's not the molar ratio between ligand and target that matters when estimating target occupancy, but rather the concentration of the ligand relative to the KD. Let's see how we can use this information in a real-time measurement. In this example we did three parallel measurements, in which we incubated with a ligand concentration of 0.1, 1 and 10 times the KD. After equilibrium had been reached, the concentration was increased 10 times. With the two lowest concentrations, the signal clearly increased. With 10 times the affinity, most of the targets were already occupied with the first concentration, so the signal barely increased further. You can learn more about real-time binding curves in another video from us. The affinity is an important property when comparing, for example, different drug candidates but it doesn't tell us everything about an interaction. This graph shows us the binding curves of three drugs which behave very different over time. The red curve is an example of a fast on, fast off interaction, which quickly reaches equilibrium but also dissociates rapidly when the ligand solution is removed. In contrast, the slow on, slow off interaction represented by the blue curve will need a long incubation time to reach equilibrium, but will then remain for a long time. An interesting aspect of these curves is that they all have the same affinities, even though their behavior over time varies greatly. In other words, the affinity value alone doesn't tell us anything about the kinetics of an interaction. The time-related properties of an interaction can be of great value when, for example, studying biological mechanisms or developing a drug. The on rate, also referred to as the uptake or the association rate, tells us how fast complexes are formed. A drug must find and bind its target before it's excreted from the body, so with a rapid excretion rate, one should aim for a fast on interaction. The on rate is related to the properties of the interaction, but also the concentration of the ligand or drug. A higher ligand concentration speeds up the binding. This means that it's possible to compensate for a slow interaction with a high drug dose, assuming that the side effects of the drug are not too severe. The off rate, or the dissociation rate, describes the stability of the interaction complex. The off-rate has been linked to the duration of drug efficacy, meaning that a stable interaction may result in the drug having a prolonged effect in the body. Also, as long as the drugs are bound to its target, they are not freely floating in the bloodstream and not excreted from the body. A slow dissociation rate has therefore been considered advantageous in drug development. But that may not always be the case and some drugs become toxic if the off rate is too slow. So you see, kinetics matter and you might need to think a bit to understand what's best for your case. Most of what I know about kinetics I learned by studying interactions on living cells using the instrument ligand tracer. One concrete example is my PhD thesis about the EGF-EGFR interaction, where I showed that kinetics and affinity varied vastly between EGFR expressing cell lines and we later saw the same with CD44V6. We all know that patients respond differently to drugs, and this was very visible also at the cell level. I hope this video has made you a bit more curious about the world of interaction kinetics and real-time measurements. Find out more about us and kinetics in our videos, on our webpage and in these recommended papers. Thank you.